Hello everybody, it's me Cullen, back with another shave. Uh, today I'm coming at you with a new product, a new company for myself. This is Hendrix Classic & Co. Um, Hidden Goddess. Um, it says it's a five ounce soap, um, but the pour's all the way to the top um, of this tub. So I'm thinking it's closer to six ounce. It smells absolutely great. Uh, the scent notes on this, um, according to the description, are the Delica de Bergamot, um, the little scent drops you put in here, which is um, the Bergamot. Then it says it has a um, some sort of amber, um, a peach nectar smell, and something else. Um, but it's very good. Um, the soap um, brush today is going to be my Rich Man brush with the Ultralux. Whips up a really good lather there. Um, but I'm going to add a drop or two just to see how much it kicks it up. Three drops is what I added. Uh, so let me get this whipped into it. Oh yeah. Wow. Now it's like wafting out of the um, lather bowl. Oh yeah. This is gonna fill the whole bathroom. The scent strength on that's a medium. Um, but now it's a um, strong, so that's excellent. And um, they don't have splashes right now. He's working on that. And so I got the um, I got the matching balm to go with it. Um, they're located in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, the labels for these were done by Razor Ray. 50% uh, of the, I believe it's 50% of the sales from this set goes to the Susan G. Komen Foundation, which is for breast cancer. Um, so that's a great cause. Um, and so let's get on with the shave because I'm really, oh, with Razor today is going to be um, my one of my absolute favorites. The Alpha Claymore Evolution. I have a brand new um, Schick Proline P30 in it. Uh, this base whips up. Um, lather fairly quick. Wow, that smells so good. You know, bergamot already has a citrusy smell to it. Um, I have a feeling I might get frag burn because I put so much in there, but um, that's all my fault. But it'll be worth it because this smells so good. So we shall see. Um, the soap is a fairly um, softish soap. It reminds me a lot of the consistency of Ariana and Evan's soaps. What a great lather though. Um, the smell is just so good. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, I've heard that these shakes are super smooth. Um, I've had a pack forever and never used them. I've just been enjoying the uh, Feather Pros. I absolutely love this. Um, the Claymore. Um, you know, I just thought of something and try it real quick. In case you're wondering what I did was I put the uh, carbon handle on that. Carbon handle is a little too light. Uh, A little too uh, thin, I think. The one on the timeless probably would be a better match because it's a thicker handle. Uh, to me, this is the uh, just the best SE around right now. Absolute love in the scent on this uh, hidden goddess soap. It's a really good sweet scent. Yeah, because bergamot already has a sweetness to it because uh, of the citrus notes. Now this soap has no tallow. Um, I guess it's it's not vegan. I believe it's considered vegetal. Um, because it does have lanolin in it and goat milk. I think that's where you get all the creaminess in this uh, lather.
And I believe in total I put in 18 uh, milliliters of water. And I use my normal soap amount, which is about a half a teaspoon, maybe three quarters. I need to get a little scale in here. This is a scale that I have that I use for um, doing resin and stuff. It's, it's a bigger scale. And I need to get one of the little drug dealer looking scales um, so I can actually weigh the soap so I'll know how much I'm putting. Um, And that's just because I like for um, consistency. If you know you're putting the same amount of soap, the same milliliters of water, Then in theory, your uh, lather should always be the same. The only thing that could differ is uh, you. Maybe one time you splayed the brush too much or stopped building your lather too early because you thought it was done. Just trying to get all the um, variables out of the way to mess things up. Um, That's one thing I love about this razor. You could get all up under your nose with it without any problems. You know, if all your um, variables are constant, uh, the only thing at least for error is human error. Wow, what such good residual slickness to that soap too. The scent is a banger. Um, the base is awesome. Uh, 
Wow, I can't find anything to fault with this soap so far. Um, five ounces, you get more like six ounces. Um, wow, no complaints from me. Whips up into, let me get this cleaned up and, but it uh, whips up into a lather easy. Um, all right, so we are back. Uh, let's go over what we used today. Uh, today we used my um, purple and blue other color did I put in this? Uh, I think it was a, a green. No, gold is what it was. It was gold. Um, We use the um, Claymore Evolution um, from Alpha with a with a new Schick P30 blade in it. We use the um, wait this heel down a little. We use the uh, Rich Man um, brush here with the Ultralux. And the star of the show was the Hendrix Classic & Co. Hidden Goddess. Um, such a great scent. And the scent on this is their Delica de Bergamot. And Looks like I didn't put the lid on there good because I got some leakage. That's not from that one. Uh, uh, this stuff smells great though. He sent some little scent drops to uh, strengthen up the soap, I guess, if you want. And then, um, oh, and after my shave, you know, warm water, cool water rinse, uh, witch hazel. And then I use my usual um, hyaluronic acid and face oil. Um, there was... I was looking at somebody's soap. Um, the other day online, I can't remember whose it was. And the actual soap itself, it had hyaluronic acid in it. I'm going to keep that little plug. I like that because it keeps the, the tip thing right there from getting, keeps the tip from getting all gunked up. Probably way too much. Oh yeah, that was in the bomb per. I guess it's going everywhere. Oh wow. We'll just moisturize everything. The old schnoz. the boulder and uh, I used the soap today um, also in the shower and that is some most excellent stuff usually I do not like balms at all but wow that's really good how uh, the scent is so just great um, I think what I'm going to do, if this works, which it wasn't. Um, trying to figure a way to keep each little scent jar with um, the soap it came with. 
I'll just put it right here in my drawer. And try to remember that they're there so I'm gonna use it next time. Um, but wow, so first use, um, would I buy Hendrix Classic? Um, and companies shave soap again? The answer to that is 100% yes. Um, they have one called Gadabout, I believe it is, that um, will be my next purchase. Um, so that's awesome. So I'll get the Gadabout um, and the Balm, because wow, that's awesome. I need to order the Balm for Badass. Um, yeah, impress, impress level 10. Great soap, great scent. Um, great doing business with Pete. Um, very responsive, um, very courteous. Um, enjoyed our talk. Um, yeah, and the, uh, I use this soap today in the shower. Um, I'm not one to use bar soaps a lot of times. Um, because usual commercial bar soaps, I don't like them. So I use, um, what's this stuff called? The bath, uh, uh, uh the stuff that comes, that you could pump, whatever that junk is. Like shower gel or whatever. Um, so that's what I usually use, um. Well, I gotta say, this is the first soap that I've used besides there was another artisan soap that I used quite a while ago. It leaves you feeling clean, um, refreshed. I don't, I didn't feel any like leftover residual goo from the soap. Like a lot of soaps leave that film on you. I didn't feel it with this. The scent is just great. Um, so yeah all around i could recommend everything so far um no complaints from me at all um but thank you for joining me for another plagic shave and uh until next time take care be safe and most importantly god bless